Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing AdGuard Home, a network-wide ad blocker, on Windows. To get started, download the latest release of AdGuard Home from GitHub. In File Explorer, navigate to the Downloads directory and extract the downloaded AdGuard Home zip file. Once the extraction completes, right-click on the AdGuard Home folder and cut it to your clipboard. Then navigate to C Program Files and paste the folder here. Next, navigate into the AdGuard Home folder and while holding Shift, right-click in the white space and select Open PowerShell window here. We'll start a temporary AdGuard Home server process by executing the AdGuardHome.exe file. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host, colon 3000. On the welcome screen, click the Get Started button. Select the network device to use for the admin interface as well as the DNS server, then click Next. Create an admin user account by entering a username and entering and confirming a password, then click Next. Click Next again, then click the Open Dashboard button. Log in with the username and password you created earlier. Welcome to the AdGuard Home Admin Dashboard. Next, we'll set up AdGuard Home to run as a service. Open the running PowerShell window and press Ctrl C to end the current running process. Then we'll execute the command adguardhome.exe s install to install the service. Taking a look at Windows Services, we'll see there's a new AdGuard Home service and the status is running. Back in the web browser, refresh the admin dashboard, then select Setup Guide from the top navigation. Here you'll find step by step setup guides on how to set the DNS on different types of devices. The best way to set this up for network wide ad blocking is to set the DNS options in your DHCP server on your router. In this example, I'll be setting the DNS directly on my Windows device. Using Control Panel, I'll set the DNS options on my network device to point to the AdGuard Home DNS server. Next, I'll launch a command prompt as admin and flush the current DNS cache to make sure that we're using the AdGuard Home DNS server. Once the DNS settings have been changed and applied, I'll open the web browser and navigate to some ad-heavy websites. Back in the AdGuard Home Admin Dashboard, we can click the Refresh Statistics button to watch as ads are being blocked. 